so in this video I'm going to show you how I went from this to this in just under 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and jump into started. it. This is the current status of my nails. They're not very long, but they're not short either. Um, I just leave my nails whatever length they are before I put the clip-ons on and I just file them. I know that a lot of people prefer to have their nails shorter, but I actually feel like when I put the clip-ons, my nails, my real nails actually grow faster. I don't know if it's because they're protected. So I don't trim them. I just file them down a bit. So this is what they look like right now. Not super long, except for this bad boy. That one is pretty long, but I just leave them as they are. I wash my hands. Make sure that you want to make sure that your fingers are free of oils or any dirt or anything. You just want a clean nail bed so that the clip-ons will stick on. And today, these are the lovely nails that we are using. These are the Kiss Gel Fantasy Ready to Wear Nails. I have worn these many times before and I love them. And you get 24 nails and then the instructions are on the back. So they actually come with little glue tabs, not glue tabs, adhesive tabs that you can use, which I'll show you in a minute. Or you can use the glue that they provide. I much prefer and I suggest if you don't have a problem with using the glue, use the glue. It's so much longer lasting. Um, the nails will last a lot longer. They're a lot more durable, a lot more firm. When I use the adhesive tabs that they give you, they would just like clip off the nails. I would like touch my dog and a nail would go flying everywhere. So I much prefer the, um, the glue, but definitely you can use the tabs if you want. So you open it up and this is what it looks like. So this is the glue that they provide, and this was the front where the nails were. These are the adhesive tabs, and they're numbered by the finger. So zero is the thumb, and then two, four, six, eight, and then, you know, so you just stick it on, and you can match it up with the nails because the nails are actually numbered. So you open it up, and those go flying everywhere because those are on the front. They give you 24 nails, which is nice, so if some fall off, you have extras. And then here's the nails. Let's show you all the nails you get. So these are all of the nails that you get and they are numbered like I mentioned, but I don't really follow that. I just go based on size, what fits best. They give you different sizes. So let me lay them out for you. Like obviously the biggest size would fit a thumb, but my thumb is abnormally smaller than everything else. So it's just weird. So you can follow the numbers that are on here. The numbers are basically right here. And you see that? So there's a, you can't see it, but there's a very small number one. There's like number two and so on and so forth. So if you wanted to use the tabs, let me show you what they look like. I never use them because as I mentioned, I feel like they don't last as long. So this is what the adhesive tabs look like. Essentially what you do is open it up. You match the number with the nail or you can just match it by size and it opens up like this. Let me put something dark behind it. Oh, you can't see that. So here we go. So you match it up with the size. So you would take this off and you stick it on the inside of the nail and then you stick it on your thumb and it, it basically double stick. I don't like it. I literally just throw this away because I just feel like it doesn't do a good job of keeping the nail on your nail bed. So not gonna be using that. So what I like to do is just, I use these first of all, I'm actually using it to push my cuticle back so that I can make sure that this fits on nicely. So this is one of the nails that they have for the thumb and I basically just do a sizing before I put it on. Like that looks a little too big. So I'm gonna try another one that they have for a thumb. And they're both labeled number one. So you can see the size difference. They give you different sizes and it's really nice because everybody has different size fingers. So this one's a little bit more rectangular shaped at the bottom and bigger and this one's a little smaller. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. So I use the nail to push my cuticle back and I make sure that's going to fit before I put it on and we are good to go. So let's get the glue. So 
So here's the glue that they give you. It's a little tricky to open. I usually have to like use my fingers. Oh wow, that one opened easy. It's showing off through the camera. So this is what the glue looks like. You just take this top part and you twist it off and it'll come off. And now you have a very small hole and the glue is open. So all I do is I take the nail like so I put it all over the nail. I kind of use a lot because I want these to stay on for a couple days. And then I put it all over the nail bed, mostly at the bottom and then a little bit at the top. Turn this around, push this down, push it down into the cuticle where we just pushed back. And then I just push down for about 10 seconds, holding it down to make sure that nail's on there firmly. So just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom, done. That's it. One nail done. This is why I love clip ons. How can I show you? Super easy. And I went from having like very busted looking hands to somewhat slightly enhanced hands. <laughs> and they do give you in this little bag, they give you, um, little packet. They give you a nail file in case you want to file these. I never file them because I actually really like the shape. But if you want to, you can just go like that, hold it down at the base after it's dry and file it down. But I love the shape. I think it's perfect the way it is. You do want to keep this little stick that they give you. This is really helpful when you're ready to take the nail off because what I do is I use nail polish remover and then the nail will start lifting up and you just go at the bottom of the nail and use this little stick to lift it up. So one nail down, let's go ahead and do the rest. I just follow the same steps I repeat. So I'm gonna go back to the nails that they gave me. I'm gonna find the right size I want for this finger. I don't follow the numbers like I told you guys at all. Like this is too big for this finger. So I find something that's a little smaller that's gonna cover the entire nail bed. That's perfect. I use the nail to push back the cuticle a little bit, take the glue, apply the glue to my nail, and I tend to use a lot. You really only need a small amount, just a drop on the nail, a drop on the nail bed, but if you want it to be really secure, put a lot on there. Press it down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom, your nails are done for the next two to three days. These nails usually um, last me like minimum two days up to four. Sometimes you'll have like onesie twosies that'll just pop off because what happens is the nail, the uh, glue starts loosening. So like if you wash dishes a lot like I do or if you cook and oil gets in there, it's just daily wear. So what I like to do is I actually keep this glue and a couple of extra nails in my purse. So like if you're at work or school and it pops off, you can literally just pop it back on. You don't have to go to the nail salon. Super affordable. I'll leave a link to where I bought these. I buy mine on Amazon, but you can literally find them at any drugstore. I'll leave a link to them down below. So let's jump into it. All right, so that is it. Nails are done. That was so easy. That literally took me less than 10 minutes to do. They are all finished. These will usually stay on, as I mentioned, for about 
two to five days you will have times like i mentioned before where some may just fall off just because if you're washing dishes you use hair oils anything like that so make sure that you scoop up all the extra nails that you have and the way i like to store them is i just put them back in the little container that they came in and you can just keep them in your pack in your bag well, I actually, I really do keep them in my purse because you never know when one might just fly off. I put the glue, you can just put on the little top. I throw it in there. Um, I don't carry these around, the nail file and the little pick thing. I save those for when I'm ready to take them off. And then I just put this top on. Actually, I think I put it this way. So you just dump them in there, put it in there like that. Move these to the side, put this on, and then what I do is I just put them back in the box so that they're nice and secure. And then if you need an extra nail, you've got everything you need. You've got the nails, the glue, boom, bam, done. So if you wanna see a video on how I take these off without damaging my nails, let me know in the comments down below and I will get to filming that. Hello friends, present day Nikki here. I thought I would pop in at the end of this nail video just to give you some product updates, reviews. If you're new around here, I usually do this at the end of videos just to show you any new PR I've gotten or to give you any updates on products that I've been using and loving or not loving. So it's just my way to be able to pop in, say hey, this is what's up, this is what I like, this is what I don't like. So let's jump right into it. Hopefully you guys found that nail tutorial helpful. That's my first ever nail video and I am like addicted to clip on, glue on nails right now just because they're so easy and fun. And I don't know if this happens for anyone else, but I feel like when I put those on, they protect my real nails and my real nails are growing longer and faster. It's very weird because a lot of people told me like those nails damage your nails. I don't know. I take them off properly. I soak them in acetone for like a minute and then I just, they just peel off and I think they're acting as like a protector for my real nails because my nails feel so strong and they're growing really long. So I don't know if any of you have had that experience or you hate them. Let me know in the comments down below. So let's quickly do some product reviews so this video isn't too long. I actually just filmed a full review video on the, uh, this is the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I love this stuff, it is very expensive. I got the two smaller sizes in the Power Couple, which comes as a kit. You get the good jeans from Sunday Riley and this. I've been using this the last four months and I have been loving it. I'll leave a link to it down below if you wanna check it out or that video where I review it. I've been using it for four months. It's helped getting rid of my acne scarring, my pores look smaller, I really like this. It has a weird smell, it kind of smells like it kind of smells like fresh cut lawn. It's very weird, but it does work. So I'll leave a link to that down below. Been loving that. What else do I want to give you an update on? The Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Highlighter. Still love it. I know some people either love it or they hate it. It's very bling in your face. I did a full review video on this where I left it on for eight hours and I saw how it wore throughout the day. I'll leave a link to that down below. I always say I'll link all these videos and then I forget. So please, I hope that I will remember. Nikki, link it down below. So quick update on this. Still loving it. Let me show you a swatch. I mean, it's very glittery. It's very boom in your face. Amazingness. I love it. Some people don't love it. I love it. I have it on now. Let's dab some more on the nose. I mean, it's just a very bright glittery highlight. If you're into a glittery highlight, you'll love this. If you're not, you will not like this. So I'll leave a link to everything down below. Loving the lip combo I'm wearing right now. I am wearing the NYX Cosmetics. What is this? I've had it for like two years. It's a lipstick. This is the NYX Cosmetics Lip Smacking Fun Colors. I wonder if they even make this still. I feel like this is the perfect pinky mauve nude for my skin tone. And this is in the color Frappuccino. But I feel like this would look good on so many different skin tones. Let me show you a swatch. And what's great is that it's so comfortable and you need very little of it. And it's just super pigmented. Look at that color. So I have that on and then I topped it with this is the Jouer Lip Topper in Tan Lines. And I feel like this is just a perfect natural, like mauve -y look. And I really like it. 
And the lip topper is a very gold, shimmery. Look at when the light hits that, so pretty. Oh my God, the color combo here with Trophy Wife, the NYX lipstick, and then the Jouer lip topper. I actually love all of those together. So, been loving all of those things. Let's move on to some things that were sent to me. This Real Techniques brush cleaning gel, I've been using this since they sent it to me about three months ago. Really like it, it does the job. It has like a light floral slash fresh laundry smell. I really do like the way it makes your brush smells. It makes your brush just smell really clean. Really like it, does the job. It's not a liquid, it is a gel, so it's a little bit thicker, but it goes a long way. Like if you use, I don't know, maybe like one squirt, you could get like 10 brushes clean from that. Really good, you just mix it with water, clean your brushes, boom, bam, you're done. I've been enjoying this. Next up, we have the Monsieur Big Mascara from Lancome, and this is in the shade Big is the New Black. I've been using this, I actually got a sample of this in my August Ipsy. I've been using it and I really like it. It does everything it'll, it says it'll do. It'll give you very long, luminous, not luminous, voluminous lashes, and it gives you the length, and it also thickens your lashes all with one coat. And I really like the wand. I like how long it is, and the bristles are really densely packed, and it's very black. So I've been using this for the last basically month and a half, and I've been loving it. There's a reason you hear about this everywhere. It's really good stuff. Next up, we have the Lancome SPF 50. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Water Resistant Sunscreen. This is good for all skin types, and what I love about it is that it's oil-free, so I have really oily skin, so it's great for me. I put it on under my makeup. It doesn't break me out, doesn't leave a white cast. You don't even know you have it on under your makeup. Don't forget your sunscreen, friends. You really need sunscreen. I feel like nobody really talks about sunscreen in the beauty community world. I feel like doing a full vid video on like the importance of of sunscreen. So I really like this. You just shake it. You can hear it's really light. You hear that? It's really liquidy, very lightweight. You need very little of it and has SPF 50 and it is waterproof. So I have really been liking this. Stuff. You guys have seen me haul this recently. I think I've been talking about this is a lot. These are some goodies that MAC Cosmetics sent to me. I'll leave a link to them down below. First up, we have their fan brush. This is the 141 fan brush. This is just so soft, so smooth. I really like it to really blend out. What I do is I blend out my nose contour or my cheek contour, or sometimes I use it to highlight. It's just really densely packed, and it's so soft. I wish you guys could feel this. I love MAC brushes. I actually, in my last MAC haul, which I think was like six months ago, I'll leave a link to it down below. I go on and on about how I love MAC brushes. I have MAC brushes that I've had for like almost 10 years, and they're still going strong. Like, no, no, wait, not 10, yeah, 10 years. One of my eyebrow brushes from MAC Cosmetics, I've had for 10 years, and it is still going strong. So their brushes are totally worth the money, long lasting, easy to clean. I love MAC Cosmetics brushes. They also sent their Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Glow With It, I love that name. Let me open it up for you. On my skin tone, this just gives me a really nice, natural looking shine. I really like it. Um, and it's very buildable and it just sinks into the skin really nicely. I feel like if you're lighter than me at all, this would probably be more of a pigmented highlight, really shiny, but for me, it just gives me like a nice, natural flush of highlight and I really, really like it. And sometimes I even use it on the eyes, love it. And then something that was new to me is the MAC uh, Next to nothing face color, and this is in the shade Dark Deep. When I saw this, I was like, oh girl, that is not gonna look good on me. But this is very, very light coverage. It's supposed to hydrate your skin without making you oily. Basically think of it as kind of like a tinted moisturizer. Um, it's just very lightweight, gives you a nice wash of color. This is something great, like if you wanna wear, like if you're gonna be sweating a lot, if you're gonna be going to the gym, like some people wear makeup to the gym. I actually do that sometimes. I try not to because I had a chemical peel and they told me I shouldn't, but when you want lightweight coverage that's comfortable and hydrating but not super oily and greasy, definitely check this out. I had not heard of this until they sent it to me. Next to nothing face color. So that's it for me, friends. Those are all the products I've been using, loving. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see any full reviews on any of this. Hopefully this nail video was helpful. Don't forget to check out the videos that are here on the screen and I will leave a link if you just click my smiling face. You can subscribe and that is it. I will see you next time, bye.